Oops. Hallo, hallo. Test, test. Time to play. Checking the stream. Checking the stream. Okay. I think it's fine. Let's continue. Oh. Or shall I say, let's begin a new game? Is learning investigations two prosecutors gambits start from this episode? Yes. Here he comes, the presidential claim descends from the western... Oh, making final approach... Uh... Okay. Text goes fast, yeah. I'll have to read it after. Just listen to this, so... Welcome to Jingva, I will come to us. Okay. Now say so all this waits. Honored friends and allies, I'm here today to do a message. I just know that dog, my love, the okay, when we move. Okay, I think that's Mr. That's Lang? Uh oh. Most helpful girl, dude. He's making a speech. Yeah. Oh no, it's a different guy. Good. I was worried, uh. <laughs> Lang will get hurt. Hmm. Call the prosecutor's office. Get Miles Edwards here right away. Who can solve this? He can. He's a famous uh, prosecutor. No? Hmm. March 25. 46 p.m. Gold Lake Spectator Area. Gold Lake. First, let's check the history. What's going on? It went very fast, so. Um, 
Here he comes, the presidential plane descends from the western skies. Message of peace. It's making its final approach and lands right on Gold Lake. Just listen to that crowd. Welcome, Jingva. Uh, welcome, Mr. President. Uh, now, sir, your audience awaits. Honored friends and allies, I am here today to deliver a message. The odious criminals that uh, do dodged dodged my beloved na the, uh, nation are no more. Okay. Thanks to the prosecutor's office of your great country, you have our most heartfelt gratitude. However, friends, do not forget the battle against evil raids on here today. I take you this Solomon promise. You shall crush the wicked with the righteous hammer of justice. And then the crowd goes, ah. Oh no, wait, that's not the crowd. <laughs> okay. That's, uh. He gets shot out uh, there and the, with the gun. And says, ah. Call the prosecutor's office. Get my Edwards here right away. If anyone can solve this, he can. And we are here now. Okay. There we are. Hmm. March. Oh, this. I already did this. Here comes our hero. Hero prosecutor. The news must be fly half fly <laughs> halfway around the world already. Hmm. After all, it's not every day an attempt is made on the life of a nation's president. I'm half a volume, okay. My name is Miles Edgeworth. In case you didn't know, I and I work as a prosecutor. In case you didn't play the first game. <laughs> okay. I came as soon as I got the call. The moment the phone rang. I knew it was serious. Of course, it's all serious with this guy. This work. Sir Edgeworth! Sir A.G. Thank goodness you are here, sir. Oh no, again we have to introduce this guy. For the... I know, every game, every game we have to do this guy. This is Dick Gobshu, a detective with the local precinct. He's the one usually assigned to my cases. In case you didn't know, and we play the other games. <laughs> How is the president detective? We still don't know, Mr. Edgeworth. The medics just boarded the plane a few minutes ago. I see. I hope he's alright. Then I suppose you'd better show me the scene of the crime instead. Right away, sir. Where is the land? I'm sure he's gonna appear in this game. Uh, spectral land. La land, yeah. Hey, I, I said, hey, yeah, you, Ruffles. Hmm? Who? What? Hmm, who's that? You're the prosecutor in charge of this here case, ain't ya? Wanna give me your first impressions? Anything strike y'all you all as ordered? No comment, Detective Gumshoe, with me. Hello, what's all this up? Come on now, Mr. Prosecutor, don't be like that. Mr. Edwards, wait for me. Hmm. Now, detective, I'll need the facts of the case and as much details as you can give me. <clears throat> okay. Here comes the president. Well, he's in muscle, though. Well, the scene was right here at Gord Lake, as you already know. A bunch of people were gathered to welcome the president of Jingfa. Jingfa. I think I'm saying it right. 
Swind of Jinfa to visit. Hmm. Mercurial news, huh? Given an addition. D. John Wang. Yes, I read about his visit. It's been all over the news for days now. Special report about President D. John Wang. The news paper clipping that I jotted down in my organizer. It was me. Uh, I won't be reading all the sentences, but I will try to read some. Don't feel well. Mm. It was raining until just before he landed. Luckily, that that up, and when he went on Sage's plan, then smack dub in the middle of his speech. Smack dub. Bang! A, a gun goes off, and everybody runs for cover. Terrified for their lives, oh, apparently. Apparently, that's obvious. I, uh, truth is, I only just showed up myself. I don't know a whole lot more than you do, sir. You were summoned on short notice as well. Sure was, right in the middle of my day off. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I was at the office taking advantage of, of the peace and quiet to prepare for my next case. <laughs> peace and quiet. And then the boss himself calls you to the scene. Never a dull moment, huh? Mr. Rage was. The boss? Yeah. <sighs> Chief prosecutor was right here in the park, saw the whole thing. Chief prosecutor. First chance he got, he yelled at the top of his lungs. Get me a yours right away. He's the only man for the job. Something like that. I see. Oh, the cordon, the perimeter of the park off as soon as it happened. You will be happy to know. Our, our would-be assassin is still here somewhere good. No, uh, leaving this park. Um, that's what he means. Um, now all you gotta do is find them, find them in the middle of that crowd. Before they strike again. You're right, we don't know what else our culprit might be planning. These people are in danger. We don't have a moment to lose. Let's begin with the basics. And search every inch of the crime scene for clues. Uh, no matter how insignificant they, seem, may, they may seem. Okay. Precisely. Okay. Who was shot? Which means gun was involved as for first clue. Okay. Alrighty. Ah, I mean, alright. Duly noted. Detective Gumshaw. <clears throat> How exactly was the security detail surrounding the president's speech organized? Well, sir, our officers are only <sighs> mainly focused on the security in the perimeter of the park. The president's people took charge of the rest. He has his own team of bodyguards. So those guys over there. Maybe we should ask them a few questions. The twins. We want to talk to them. We'll, I'll need to walk over and press. Okay. I know that. Can I help you? You're one of the president. The president's bodyguard, correct? Could you tell me how this how this security detail was arranged during the speech? Two of our senior brothers were attached. Mm. Oh, to the present uh, the rest, uh, security stage. 
This isn't our first rodeo. Any suspicious in that crowd would have spotted it right, saw it right away. I see. So the president's security was tightly orchestrated for the duration of his speech. Okay. Investigation. Father, uh, this other, we should speak with other. Hmm. And it was true. So that's how you all go about it, huh? Sure, is something seen the pros at work. Care to share a little about what happens to the. <laughs> What's that information? Once. Uh, what? Uh, care what happened to that information? Once you have got a hold of it. Hmm. Bystanders. This one seems persistent, but I can't afford to get distracted. Hey Ruffles, I ask you a question. Dang. Dang it. What happens next? Well, we put all the information together. Try to find connections. Right, sir? Detective! Oh, don't be so hard on the poor guy. So... Connections, you say? And w what next? Well, I guess you'd say we connect the dots. Connect the one piece of information to another. It's Mr. Edgeworth Forte. He's a logic master. <laughs> oh, no. Should we not tell any stranger about this stuff. Okay, I can view that information I have with L and then maybe. Okay. <sighs> this one. Logic. Could have taken some seeds. Yeah. Destination temple was almost certainly pre pre meditated. <laughs> That's the stuff, Mr. Edgeworth. The old logic never fails, huh? Indeed, all we need to do is find the right clues to make the right connections between them. Is our connections, However, and we only end up farther from the truth. To me, they must make well decent connections. If I did draw logical conclusions, hmm. Well, uh, Toby Markle for Goddard Kellen, is it Chaban Gormik? Hmm. Time to examine. I think that looks nice. Hmm. Hmm. You know all this. Ask him if you notice anything. Obviously, rain stopped. Falling right now. Okay, rain stopped, mist has lifted, no cloud in the sky, <laughs> you sound disappointed detective, I was supposed to be fishing right here on this lake, in fact, and the big ones will only come out when it's wet, the park was sealed off for business visits, no regular use allowed, you know the rules, no thing regular about Reading uh, in a whopper cell, that's gonna be special. <laughs> to fear our idea, the special might be rather different. Ir irreconcilable, so in fact, 
is what he thinks about that at a time like this. Oh, I fucking left it. Uh, what investigation? Let them show. He knows. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, says so it's examine every nook and cranny. Talk to every single of this, yeah. Hmm. This is basically the tutorial here. When you get the chance, that's the way. first <laughs> oh yeah what about the center Talent. Losing. See the forensics. What is the officer here taking the journal detective? A wicked will be crushed beneath the righteous hammer of justice. There's the forensic. Okay. Lucky he's reading off the, of these papers here, Mr. Edgeworth. Pro speech. Tips number three Speak slowly and confidently to win your audience around. Mm. I did that just now. Hey, this is good stuff. Better get a shot of this one too. Instead of focusing on that speech, how about you focus on your work instead, officer. Have you found anything of note, officer? No, sir, not a thing. No fingerprints, no footprints, nothing. Nothing. That is to say, no one that stand out, sir, but not after everybody touched. I walked all over everything. Detective Gumshoe, do you sound please about. Yeah. Please about coming and Hello. Oh. In house. I will uh, speak to his commanding officer about it, uh, sir. Sir, reviews coming up soon and all. Uh, 
Go back to the body parts. As a person, okay. They are not at liberty to share that information with local law enforcement. <laughs> what did you just say to him? You let us on that. You let us on that plane, pal. You might just regret it. Sorry, I can't let you do that. Ah, no one respects the badge anymore. Well, oh, this is something of an international incident. All the more reason to find the killer as soon as we possibly can. No. I was as surprised as you, sir. There is no mistaking it. It's a steel samurai. Steel Samurai Warrior of the New Old Tokyo. It's a popular TV show. Old, young, that doesn't matter. Truly has something for everyone. Beats me why they had a Steel Samurai balloon. It's a welcome party for a foreign president. It is a little odd, although, now that I think about it, uh. What better hero to represent our nation? I must scour the scene and expect anything that catches my attention. Use a big scene to catch your attention. It breaks your heart, don't you? It does. What, what villainy could have befallen him? Witnesses said he popped right about when the gun went off. Could strongly suggest that a bullet struck the balloon. Looks like we got a case of cold-blooded samurai murder on our hands. This is sacrilege. Sacrilege. I won't rest until the culprit has been apprehended. Detective, we cannot let this virus escape. They want, sir. You can count on it. Still Samurai Balloon uh, just in the office. Who is this balloon? That's a balloon. Oh. Anything suspicious? Ah, mm. mm. oh, the flag. It's the flag of the gym for key motive is blazing red phoenix. Wait, what's this? Something the matter, sir? Don't see it, detective. There is something unusual about this flag. Compare it with the one on the other side of the stage, you, if you will. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Just look at it flapping in the wind. It's immaculate. Exactly, which is how a flag should look. Yet, here we see quite a different picture. One thing in particular stands out, don't you think? Right, uh, of course. I, uh, is it, um, uh, uh, give up, come on, spill the beans. Ah, and you... You can lead a horse to water. 
You just have to move the cursor to the chromatic spot and highlight the difference. You can see a hole. Take that. Look closely, do you see the hole? Oh, look at that. You're right, sir. And not the burn marks around the edges. That's a bullet hole. There's no mistaking it. Bullet hole, so you're saying a bullet went through the flag? Oh yeah. I think I've gathered enough information for the moment. Time to put the pieces together and see what we can figure out. Uh, pieces. Two shots were fired, right, sir? Only one shot. Three. Oh, yeah. I think two shots. Hmm. Equally, the hole in the flag and the hole in the balloon that have been made by the symbols. So, yeah, two shots. What we need to know is how many gunshots were there? Where were they? There were. There were. Alright. Uh, on with an investigate. Mm -hmm. Ruffles! Ruffles! You all figured something out, huh? Care to share? Who oh, is she? And why does she keep sh shouting at us? Hmm. Hmm. Rubber necker, I guess, seems pretty interesting, interested in the case. Come on, give me something here. Who's he? Who's he? Who's he? We do not need to speak with some witnesses to find out how many gunshots there were. Fine, let's see if she can tell us anything. There you all are. Tabby Lloyd... 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 Lloyd? Your service. I'm looking into the case for... Well, that's for me, right? Right here. Uh, for me right now, but... Looking into the case. Was it? Uh, well, what can you tell me? Any exclusive details you want to share? That's some tea to wake up.
Books. How about it? Oh, well. Sorry, I'm moving the mic into, uh, near my mouth here. Okay. How about the herb? Have they made any demands? What are them their ruffles? Where does the fair buy a car of it like that? <laughs> Why it is a lot? Will you be quiet for a moment? I'll be asking the questions here. Damn, and hey, I thought I could get uh, me something juicy for my piece. <laughs> Need to know about the shooting. Can you tell me how many gunshots you heard? Why? I most certainly cannot. I beg your pardon? Can't just let... Can't just be handling out leads for free. That stuff my... That stuff my li livelihood. Oh... Don't hold up on us. We gotta share sometimes. <laughs> Me? Hold out on you? All of it, your... All of you all are gonna be like that. I'll be moving right along. Goodbye. Wait. Wait for what exactly, huh? Huh? Have you got it for me? I'm gone. Ah, we're fresh out of moves here. Out of moves? Hmm. I wouldn't be so sure. But what do you mean, Mr. Edwards? As you know, Detective, I like to play a little chess. What does one do in, in chess when an opponent adopts a defensive position? While well, the board offers any number of options, but some are more effective than others. Uh, sorry sir, but this is all going way over my head. Why the allegation stood? No matter how impenetrable an opponent's defense may seem, it can always be overcome. Watch and learn, detective, as I shatter my opponent's resolve, the power of words. Oh, what's this? This is something new. Now we must analyze the state of play. So end getting nothing out of me. Not until you give me something in return. Mm. My bone has dug herself in deep. Her defenses won't be easily broken. But I can't afford to try her patience by taking two long to plot my next move. In other words, I must be conscious not just of my strategy but also of my passing time. Hmm. That said, I can't afford waste words neither. In fact, it can pay the... the this? What? The violence not to... My opponent gets too agitated.
good. Boys in time. A pass. Choice of the student by finding out what it is that she does. Alright, time to make my opening garment. Mind chess commence. Is new. Is new. Find out what she does for a living. What is it that you do? Oh, the time is moving. Why don't you begin my, by telling me about what it is that you do? Sure, or I could totally not do that. I think I don't know. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. That's my job. Uh, second one. I could totally not do that. I think I do. No, I want to keep my mouth shut. That's my job. Is it now? So you do. So you do something you want, or can't tell anybody about it. No, I know. I shut up. I ain't no law breaker. That's what you're insinuating. I did something. by my time. Hmm. Let's push. Don't you see? There is nowhere left to hide. Oh, I'm not rightly sure what you are getting at here. Ruffles. Curses. I could have picked my walls more wisely. Um, more effective to bite my time than more jaded or uh, upset my opponent seems. When they are vulnerable, that's time to. Oh, okay, but I'll bide my time. Okay, I'll bide my time. I'm law abiding everyday citizen, and you got no reason to say otherwise. Well, I meant nothing by it. Okay, something can tell me. The more important work indeed, okay. Hmm. It's my time. Oh, I misjudged there. Okay. Hmm. I'll calm I I speak and they're um, too noisy and agitated. Uh, yeah, be quiet, okay. I see it's a scoop you're after. So you're, a so you're a journalist, is that correct? The dang um uh, sure you I'm your friendly neighborhood reporter. The hungriest cub on the beat. That's the mystery of what she does for a living soul. Okay. Perhaps our hungry young cub has gathered information vital to the case. Let's make that our next line of inquiry. Oh good, I have a full gauge again. 
the opening moves that included the mid mo the mid game approaches. What else does she have to tell us? Ah, uh, where is it called? Money where and the sinker. You are the reporter, which means you must have been making a record of some kind. Not more questions. Well, give me something first. That's a deal. Hmm, can I help you? Where you at the council? The time since then, were you at the present of the scene of the crime? Absolutely not. Hmm. Is angry? Something. A new game plan for all of them. You are the city. I can understand the report. اضغط عليها انا That was the wrong move, yeah. Wow! Nothing much left there, uh, Akhishwa. Not vector to buy my time. Uh. Oh, now I'm getting damaged. Zay. Yes, it came over? No, it's. Okay, wait. I can't give up now. I have to keep pushing. Okay. Okay, good. I have chances. Alright, once more into the breach. This game, the new gameplay is a bit. Uh, need more focusing. Um, do you have to repeat all that? Mm. Oh no, okay. Continues well. Uh, because she has only one chest piece. Okay, I will do quite my time. Hmm. Oh, 
Then my turn. Okay, that was wrong. What? Okay, uh... Play me that tip. Uh, did I get it? Intriguing. And you're in the reporter, thank you for success. Told the to her craft that to leave such an important event unrecorded would be unthinkable. And indeed, she did not. She committed the entire event. To tape. Oh, da dang, dang it. This is my scoop. You're messing with my big break. Fine, sure. I recorded the whole damn thing. It's all right here. You got me, okay? Hmm, checkmate. Okay, look. Check me, the world. Do you something else, Ruffles? I'm trying to be all strong inside. You had me, singing like a canary. Never mind that, now play us the tape. You should finally tell us how many shots were fired. Fine, you can hear it, but I got conditions. Played me like a fiddle, Ruffles. All the chief ever played me so good. Chief. They got agreed to be chief number two and be mentor to Rising Star, aka me. The chief number two, huh? Kind of like a second pa parent. That's a big responsibility, sir. <laughs> And one more thing, I want exclusive reporting right? right for the first 24 hours. <laughs> Come on, you gotta say yes. What my mentor wouldn't give his star profile that exclusive, huh? She's a difficult woman to refuse. And I need to hear that recording. Actually, who's this woman? Allah. When Talatad, Tabby Lloyd. ليش تحس اني انا لازم اعرف من اللعبة؟ لعبة ثانية، ما اومر جديد ودفتر توينتي فور اورز از مور ذان اي كان بروميس بس ذا ستوري از يورز انتل ذا كيس از سولف ان ذا جاب اوف تشيف نمبر تو اي ثينك نوت اه you're no fun, but I guess a girl can have, can't have everything. All for the sake of the scoop, huh? All right, you got yourself a deal. I got exclusive access, starting right this second ruffles. Good. Then our first order of business is to listen to that tape. Will Kachak.
Voices from somewhere. Hmm. Okay, the part where the gun goes off is right after this. Two bullets, two shots. Two gunshots. Okay. One hit the president, the other went to the flag and into the samurai steel. Uh, steel samurai. Hmm. Hmm. The only possible place for which a bullet could have been fired through the flag and into the balloon is. Hmm. يعني هي بوسيبل نو ذس واي لا سي اني نو واي بيهايند Position of the shooter. I have to do some guessing. Here. I'm guessing it's. Oh, 
Are you sure about that, Ruffles? No. I didn't read the report, but... After the made of his life, he gave a speech and... Okay. We really don't know where, where that he got shot. Use this logic and BAM! Out comes the truth every time. Chu Jazz. Tahmis. <laughs> logic printer. <laughs> okay, can't wait to hear the logic behind this one wall. Sir, how do you do that, sir? <laughs> one moment, I am. Yes, um. Try it, Ruffles. We all make mistakes. Uh, I picked the wrong spot. Two bullets were fired. That was sure, for a fact. Uh, okay, some hints here. Two bullets were fired. We know that for a fact. We draw a straight line along the path of each bullet. A two lines should occur well on a single point. Hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what I did first, yeah. Hmm. Draw a line. Oops. Wait. Wait, it should be here. Should be here. Since yeah. Take that. Hmm. Yes. Drawing a line between the flag and the balloon gives us the trajectory of one of our bullets. And places our sh shooter on the left hand side of the spectator area. You are a genius, Mr. Edgeworth. Detective Gumshaw will need to examine the left side of the spectator area. Roger that, sir. So, yeah, oh. You need to clear all those people out of the way, I guess? I do. And what evidence remains to be found may be deteriorating. So I'll need you to be quick about it. Yes, sir. Chief, hey, I'm talking to you, Chief. So what do you mean, Miss Lloyd? Mean me, Miss Lloyd? Okay. Surely do, you gotta let me help out this stuff. My forte. I'm the best crowd herder you ever did. Ever did see. I'll prod Pamel and push him wherever you like. Shuha. <laughs> Very kind of her, but I think a less hands-on approach might be preferable. Also, but this chief business, I know what is chief. Whatever you say, uh, uh, Mr. Edwards, sir, your wish is my command. Okay, I somehow doubt it. Here you go, sir. So it's all ready for you. Mr. Lloyd here cleared everybody out just like that. You should have seen it. Oh, you ain't seen nothing. The chief, my other chief, that is. She sends them running twice as quick. She sounds like quite a formidable character. Perhaps I should go easier on the poor girl. Thank you, but you really have all that running around. Clothes are covered in mud. Allow me to pay the, for the cleaning. It's the least I can do. Huh? You mean my jacket? Oh, don't you be worrying. 
pretty little head about that. It's reversible. All you gotta do is reach it round and Alakazam, no more dirt. On the outside, right? but you would still have something of a problem with the inside. Oh <laughs> yeah, true. And are ready to get back to the investigation whenever you are, you are, sir. Crowd has troubled the entire area. We'll be lucky to find any traces of our shooter at all. Hmm. Anything? Cameraman. Man, the lens is cracked. What am I gonna do? Uh -huh. Circuit boards. It's far. Something the trash. <laughs> Do right away, sir. He's gonna check. <laughs> she said. When she said you've gotta pick through the trash yourself, a procedure that made it easy, huh? Immediately went to the detective commission to, to check. Right away, sir. The faithful detective scrubbles through the garbage as the prosecutor looks on, his hands unblemished. <laughs> Let's see now, come to Papa, little treasures. <laughs> Is he enjoying himself? <laughs> Bingo, a popsicle stick. <laughs> Sure. Gotta love the jokes they put on these. <laughs> the detective. Sorry, sir. Relevant evidence. Relevant evidence. Huh? I think we got something. <laughs> Good work, detective. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Back. Should there should be a gun inside or something. Hmm. Oh, hidden. I know this. I will not read it. Hmm. Yeah, we can rotate. More tutorials. Left and right. Mm hmm. Nothing new here. Well, I, I see that. The gun is inside. I was just kissing. Okay, this is a document of some kind. What the fuck? What's this? What are we looking at here? Hmm. Presidential security plan. It's a diagram of the president's security arrangements. What? Shows how the president's bodyguards were positioned. Let's go side now. Eyes on this area. Rook repositioned in light of knight's an injury. Knight's injury. Mm. Knights to immediately escort president to plane in case of emergency. Stay frosty. We know who might be in the audience. Hmm. If lost. It. Hmm. Even has his people's names on it. Broken Knight. Hmm. So. So his bodyguards are natives of Sh Shing Jingva. Okay, I heard he uses some private security firm. But why not employ people from his own country? I know, why not? You all wanna hear a little tabby 
Lloyd, Lloyd exclusive. You really know something. Sure I do. I was at their embassy not so long back, sniffing out story. While I'm here, there, one of my sources tells me that the president's got more enemies. You got hairs on your head, including a bunch of big wigs in the national national police force. Interesting. So he's unable to trust his own domestic law enforcement. I wonder if one of these enemies could have been behind the attempt on his life. Hmm. Hmm, okay. So what, what was it doing dumped there in that bag? There is an interesting point. It's a document relative to a matter of national security. Would should surely be in highly classified. Huh, hey, there's something else in here. A gun. Mm. Well, my, my. Well, well, what's a gun doing in there? Sir, this bag has got to belong to the. Yes, it could well have been. It was disposed by, of by our would-be assassin. A revolver, it would have taken a lot of nerve to dump it here amid all the chaos. Revolver. Could this be the work of a professional? That would explain the security plan too. Take a closer look. How many bullets? No, oh, two used there. Okay. Mm. This is cool. Laser sight, huh? Aiming was... in the trash nice work detective now there is something else I would like to ask of you if you don't mind I need to take the bag and the gun front to forensics and see if they can find any prints on it sir mm. that was quick you bet it was told the text it was ultra super high Priority, but uh, they came up empty. They checked everywhere inside and outside, top to bottom. So they even took the bullets out of the gun and arrested them. Hmm, should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. 
<laughs> they're garbage in the right place. We're dying and murderers now. <laughs> oh no. Oh, hurry boy, yeah. Well, this is quite the situation, what did you say, Mr. Edwards? Who is he again? Oh, this is a lawyer. That always uh, appears in, uh, against the Phoenix Wright in the court. Oh, some lawyer. It's Payne, Mr. Edwards. Winston Payne. We work together at the prosecutor's office. He's a prosecutor. Um, what brings you here today, Mr. Payne? <laughs> what indeed? Why only the invitation of the chief prosecutor himself? His voice, I recognize it from tape recording. Was he one of the men who was standing in front of Miss Lloyd? And where's the chief prosecutor? He had to leave. I'm afraid he's a busy man. They let him, and only him, out through the cordon. So he had me summoned on short notice and then left before I even showed up. Rude. Shouldn't talk to them again. Alas, yeah. About the incident. Shooting now for figuring it out. Hmm. Shots rang out, tearing through air that only moments before being alive with cheers. Okay, she's over reacting here. Hmm. Okay, 2.25 pm on March. Live. voice notes Shouldn't take our testimony with a lot of weight. She's new.
Let me show off my badge. <laughs> hey, I've heard about this. How come it ain't stuck to your jacket or whatever? So that's not the custom. It is too all I have weird and um, uh, I don't see it. So what's the story with yours? No comment. Huh, just these legal eagles that make themselves be superior to us regular folks somehow. I would like it to be on the record that I made no such comment. <laughs> Sergio World loves tea. Even has his own special blend at the house office. Well now, well now. So our first good advice to put on airs and graces. Airs and graces, huh? And why is the detective answering on my behalf? <laughs> Who better sir? There's nothing I don't know about you after all. Oh, 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 oh. is that so? Tell me more. Oh shit, <laughs> Don't be there, detective. Mm. Oh, it okay, is something. Oh, I heard that, that the prison got enemies and then some boss in and outside this country. Clearly, he was gonna get shot someplace, some. Now oh, was only a matter of when. Wait, you're not telling me you came here expecting him to get shot? Hey, now don't get, uh, don't go putting all of them in my mouth. I come because the uh, president's a great man. Figured there was a scoop just in, in him being here. Doesn't seem like much of a scoop, if you ask me. Oh, come on, Ruffles, cut me some slack, will ya? Oh, no, it's hot. No. Mm. You're mental. You know the chief, Ruffles? My mentor, my inspiration. No, but you have mentioned her repeatedly that I can't directly say I remember. What kind of reporter forgets a thing like that? Well, it's just like the chief always says, you gotta treat some information as responsibly as you can. And what kind of mentor says that? Uh, you should have her the day she gave me this here tape machine. You, you be sure and buy yourself the juiciest, laziest scoops you can now, you hear? <laughs> Wonderful, so you're the kind of a person who sees 
vampire and the, even the faintest trace of smoke. <laughs> no, the, I'm the kind of report who puffs on the fire until the smoke uh, about chokes you. <laughs> How's that any uh, matter? What the? Okay, it's back. Honestly, I'll leave you alone for two seconds. But don't worry, your hero is here to save the day. That's right, the one, the only. Hey, Faraday. Hero, only you would give me give yourself a title like that. So you are not a great thief anymore? Not right now. It's not like I quit. I'm just uh, on sabbatical. Sabbatical. Okay. I'm taking time out for some intensive training. Being the second Yetagara, so doesn't come easy. Okay, help me out on a few occasions about two weeks ago when I was working a case. But it's been only two weeks. The case of the Edgar's or Mrs. Thief who seemed to appear and disappear at will. And who claimed only to steal the truth. She called herself the second Edgar's successor to the so called Great Thief. There is not a lock I can't open or a trap I can't escape. When it comes to stealing, well, I am still in training, but get there soon enough. What are you doing here, Kay? What do you think I'm doing? I've been enjoying the festivities, of course. Of course, you didn't mention being fond of such things. Afterwards, I was thinking of dropping by your office to see you guys, but now I don't have to. Good to see you, kiddo. You're as bright and breezy as ever. Hey, Gummy, how are you being? You're looking pretty full of beans yourself. Mm. So, okay, are you really here to save the day? Yep, <laughs> prepare for your job to hit the floor. Your best pal in the world here only went and took pictures of the whole shebang. Did you now? Then you'd better show them to me. Wow, your jaw didn't even drop an inch. What's a girl got to do to impress you, huh? Yeah, you know, right? The prosecutor's here is about as much fun as a dang toothache. Won't even let me call him chief. Oh, but I'm forgetting my manners. Tabuloid Ace Reporter at your service. Nice to meet you, Tabby. You're right, he's not... He's no fun at all. This one time he... You two can chat later, okay? Can I see those pictures? <laughs> Boo! Fine, here. Okay. Talk this one right when the sun, the gun went off. It was total chaos. People running everywhere. The president and his two bodyguards. 
Hand on skip plan were, were knight and rook, I think. I think the rook is on the left and the knight on the right. <laughs> mm, what's that? Thank you, indeed, Kay. I think you have found us oh, with a vital clue. Oh, your eyes just lit up like a pair of oh, dang Christmas trees. Well, Mr. Uh, Edgeworth, care to tell the readers what you have spotted? Contradiction. Huh? Oh, what now? Oh, don't know. I don't see anything strange. Allow me to show you. This picture shows the moment of the incident, but. Another piece of evidence shows something different. We need to highlight the point of contradiction, then employ my powers of deduction. First, find the contradiction before the graph. Yes, this is it. I'll simply press X. Make my it. Not press the uh, evidence that proves the conviction. at the picture of the prison in this newspaper clipping viewed Miss Lloyd. Now look at Kate's photograph. Compare the two carefully. Oh, what am I looking for here? Indeed, there's some uh, Indeed, there's something on the president's forehead. Something that wasn't there in the other picture. What is that? Some kind of birthmark? Yeah, guys, got a big red birthmark right in the middle of his forehead. I think that's a laser point. I really doubt the birthmark just sprung up there since the other picture was taken. He got bitten by a bug. Then, maybe? That's that's it. That that right. There is a big old bug bite. And here I thought it was something important. The look on your face. You should know that the road to the truth is paved with just such seemingly trivial details. Oh, again with the face. All right, all right. Duly noted, chief. Thank you. 
Hmm. Before shooting. And then laser sight. Ah, yeah. there. A jacket that must be our suspect. So they took advantage of the confusion to make them get away. Hmm. Oh, the samurai dog stand. Precisely, which means the escape towards the right hand side of the spectator area. Detective Gumshoe. On it, sir. Consider it clear. Good, I'm cutting on you. Oh, we have you now, my little red riding hood. The entire park is cordoned off, and we know which way you went. Not simply a matter of hunting you down. Okay. 
Now let us continue our investigation. There's evidence here somewhere. All you have to do is find it. Tools. Oh no, that's okay. Let's see. Irrevocably corrupted. Thing you see if okay. Let's see we are rest in a heartbeat. The good reason not to stop her, I suppose. Thank you. 
Go to see and expect to see that there is. Red button? Hmm, uh, do you think? on the code. Oh, the sleeves inside out. Button is missing too. Dirty one. This is a blood stain. This would say that blood belongs to a blood be assassin. So I'm looking for someone with an injury. 
for the energy you know that we have how do you know that? Simple, the light sleeve is inside out. This is that this is suspect. Move the raincoat in a hurry. Even smarter than you look, Ruffles. Playing all of them itty bitty pieces and put them together like that, you'll have your man in no time. That's a strange word for you. Part is still cordon of a would be assassin, would be to be in that crowd somewhere. Calling me down, tell them, sure. We find it. So, Edgeworth, we found someone who fits the bill perfectly, sir. Where to now, the assassin dummy? Hold on, kids, a little bit soon. We jump into conclusions. One of them, a person, just nothing more. Understood? Okay, okay, no jumping. He's our shooter, sir. I'm sure of it. He's the guy who tried to take out the. In broad daylight, surrounded by crowded witnesses, this is no ordinary assassin. Bring him over here, take it carefully. Yes, sir. Come on, boys, you heard Mr. Edgeworth? Eight. This guy. Hmm. He looks familiar, yeah. No umbrella and a bandage on his left arm. Well, pal, state your name already. Do, John Do, Charm, I'm sure. Do, John Do. John Do. Not a name you often hear in real life. That's correct. I know this man from somewhere, I'm sure of it. And you are Prosecutor Edwards? You know my name? Of course. You've been calling the days before it went with some interest. Now perhaps you'd care to explain why you asked to speak with me? As you have been following our investigation, you are no doubt already aware of who we are looking for. So let me ask you, do you recognize this raincoat by any chance? Forgive me, but I am afraid I do not. I see. Well, I believe it's honor to be a uh, would-be assassin we are seeking. My, my, well, isn't that just shocking? And this same would be person happens to have an injured left arm? 
just like you. All I can tell you is that I have nothing to do with this unfortunate affair. Okay, the two adversaries stare each other down, their eyes like deadly lasers. Care to tell the readers what happens next? Showdown, that's what. Battle wits, battle wars. <laughs> there I left him. Any father, what he thinks this thing battle will entail? Hmm. Uh, okay. will let the man blather on <laughs> And battle with you never know if or when the other guy might be lying or just mistaken. If you spot an inconsistency in a statement of details, you got to present the evidence that is. To do that, okay, so it's very good to explain it. Ah, I know this. Then my organizer and then present what is there is. And no inconsistencies. Fine. You change that, press for more information, see what you can shake loose. See, they can press on you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Then we have to back with our nation's top prosecutor. Once I'm able to quietly gather my thoughts, yes. It goes in the position. So you contend that you were not really a is that correct? It is, um, is that so strange? Another one wields one after all. I'm going to prefer an umbrella. Team raincoat over here. They are perfect for when girl really needs to move. Heck, I don't use neither. Come rain, sleep, snow, or shine, it's my trusty parka every time. Not exactly the man required, I was hoping to So you see, I'm not your would-be killer. <sighs> oh, you got the hole. I mean, I won't see. I've begun bleeding again, all the excitement. In the statement. Hold it. I think I can just and show this in this statement. He's asking me now, do you have any
Brilliant Ventures. I have a man, Mr. Doe. Not quite careful enough, after all. You left something behind, something of vital importance. I heard you must have me confused, confused with uh, somebody else. I heard you must have me confused with uh, somebody else. Doe does not belong to me. Or do you claim to have some kind of proof for the accusation? Your arm isn't troubling you too much, I hope. Your one seems to be bleeding again. I survive, although I can. Then it's not something you can be missed. You have my deepest sympathies. Because if it wasn't bleeding quite so badly, you could have had made a clean getaway. What exactly are you insinuating? And we have already established whoever wore the raincoat's engine. And now I can prove that the person was you. This is a piece of evidence. Here, sir, there is a small amount of blood on the third raincoat. No. Long star assassin. <laughs> the murder of a foreign leader causing a diplomatic incident will throw the book at you. <laughs> you can give us the silent treatment all you like, but we don't need you to talk. Then the blood test will give us the answer we require. All Texas takes is to compare the blood on your bandages with that on the coat and that will be it. That will be that. How will evidence? Why don't you make it easier? All of us in clean. Admit that you are the one who had done it to assess the present gym part. I am not your assassin. You're stubborn, I'll give you that. But if this were uh, game of chess, you'd already be in checkmate. I'll do the honorable thing and admit defeat. Don't look like a man who's known with the play. Very well, you have me. But admit it, I was reading the vein code. You confessed 
save the world and I will slap the cops him right now. But I did not shoot at the president. What? The rage was. Only thing you have proven is that I was wearing a particular raincoat. And as far as I am here aware, that is not a crime. I love you. I love Lennon and who love you. I'm no assassin, I'm a simple ice cream seller. One who happened to be wearing a red raincoat while watching the prisoners speak. But that's that much. Oh, come on. Tell me, Mr. Edwards. Do you think I was the only one in the entire park wearing a red raincoat today? I do, actually. Then why? Why does he scream so sure about himself? Trust every every statement. Hold it. What's in his profile? Hmm. Does virtue have to do with anything? Without proper reverence for the crop, put the oil and have ever make a sweet and crystal device. There, I hope that you now see. I am nothing more than an ice cream seller. Hold it! Why are you Why were you not an umbrella? That's so strange, it was a rainy morning. Was you were we wearing a jacket of some kind? Well, I'd say it's a pretty strange choice. The thing you couldn't get one of your arms into it. Look at that, then I have one of my hands. Occupied by an umbrella, I had ice cream to serve for you. Then why do such things to avoid testimony that in the first place? Excuse me, I simply hadn't remembered until now. It's been an eventful day after all. Eventful? 
Well, I hardly know what else to call it. Trade Wars. The Legend of Chain Power Nut was shot at. Press the seven. Hold it. So you saw the bodyguard move before you had the gunshot. Yes, if I recall correctly, they moved first. Please, the one on the left did. You're rather observant, Mr. Doe. And I'm blessed with keen eyes. Expecting not the light from a laser sight. The man is no natural. Master Doe knows a little too much about the business of being bodyguard from my liking. Say our friend here is no natural either. I'd like you to append what you just said to your testimony. If you don't mind. As you wish. Bodyguards on the left. Blast from rock, was it? Uh, was especially quick to respond to the new statements. So the bodyguard on the left was the first to move. Huh? Uh, by the smallest fraction, yes. He reacted admirably swiftly. His name was Blast from rock, did you say? Please, you have assessed the situation quite astutely. No more, more, no more is so than anybody else, I'm sure. He's good, he didn't even flinch. That's when the spectators panicked and started running and screaming for their lives. So you also then start running and screaming. So how did you position to? Oh yeah, and what position were you in? One of extreme pain, somebody bumped right into wounded arm, hard. I was, ex I was excruciating. I thought my eyes would pop out of my head. Yeah, well they clearly didn't. Of course they didn't, okay. In any event, the shooter was wearing a red raincoat. Have photographic proof of that yet? The John Doe here swears it was him. The guy's lying through the, his teeth, I tell you. No one gets away with disrespecting Mr. Rage Wars, pal. Not on my watch. Calm down, detective. We will get the truth out of him by catching him in a lie. Yeah, let's. So let's keep it at him. He will, he will let something slip soon enough. Present. Thank you. 
Or maybe I have to use that other other than Said Rook. Mm. Objection. Mm. As I suspect, you are more than what you claim to be, Mr. Doe. Your overstatement me, or okay, you overestimate me, Sir Edgeworth. Oh, then tell me how a simple ice cream seller knows one of the presidential bodyguard's name. What? You just surely... You are the one who spoke their names aloud. Broken Knight, was it? Objection! We only know those names thanks to the security plan. We took closely, only their surnames appear. Yet we all clearly heard you say the name Bastion Rock. How do you come to possess such information? Information we ourselves don't didn't have. Seems pretty darn suspicious to me. Well how did you know? Explain yourself. It was merely a slip of the tongue. Another lie he is the assassin just like we said. Come now, miss. It's a little soon to be jumping to such conclusions. I did know their names, yes. And the reason for that is... Well... I know Mr. Rook. He and I are acquainted. <laughs> what? We have something of a connection. And this is a name I could never forget. Think we are stupid, pal? Stop lying. I'm not lying. I am as uh, as I have always been. Simple ice cream seller. Now, an acquaintance of Pastor Rook, yes. Objection! And I suppose Mr. Rook will confirm that. It should be easy enough for him to remember his good friend, the slippery ice cream seller, correct? Please, you are more than welcome to ask him. Although I think that might be difficult right now. I would imagine he's rather busy ensuring uh, the president's safety. But suppose you are able to speak with him, and he does deny that he and I are acquainted. How will that help you prove I was the shooter? Objection! If you weren't the shooter, why take off your raincoat? But it was no longer raining. In fact, I had grown quite warm. Far better to let my wound breathe, no? Or would you rather I had let it pester? Uh, is he actually going to hold his way out of this? What are you waiting for, Mr. Edward? Hurry up and arrest the man. He's clearly guilty if I were you. He'd be in jail already. You might be willing to arrest a man without sufficient proof, but I am not. No, come on, Mr. Edwards, you. Um, there's got to be something you can do. Shocking scenes here, as the culprit seems all 
but certain to escape justice. So I see the court, the, the court of public opinion has spoken very well. As I will clearly be viewed with suspicion no matter what I say. Might as well share what I know. But you know, what's his anger here? I saw them. I saw another person with a red, red hood. Okay. What? Are you kidding me? The person you captured in your photograph. First, notice them just before the president's speech began. It was still raining then. The outfit was the same color as my own is what drew my attention as the, the laser beam that was aimed directly at the prison said he's claiming there was another red hood person Pres preposterous I know that if anyone saw me dressed similar to this Individual could fall under suspicion myself, and so uh, naturally I removed my raincoat. So not only did you see the assassin, but they were wearing exactly the same thing as you. <laughs> wow, very convenient. I thought you might find it far-fetched, hence my not mentioning it until now. No, you law enforcement people are very skeptical types. You would never have believed me. Especially not if I had said that the shooter was standing right next to a certain prosecutor. Well, I know you don't mean me. I was not even someone until the shooting. No, not you, Mr. Edwards. Your colleague over, over there. Huh? Me? Yes, the photograph will prove it, I am sure. <laughs> see the right... You see right there, in front of the person with the red hood? That's me, yes, but I... What exactly are you saying? What's his end game here? As I mentioned, I have been following your investigation with some interest, Mr. Edward. And while pondering the details, I noticed something strange. Strange? What exactly? Hmm. Something consistent here. Yeah? Something inconsistent.
What? Of course, the tape contradicts the photograph. Ah, so you have noticed at last. What's he going on about, Mr. Edwards? Someone's missing. Someone who should be there, here. Ah, but who? Who indeed? Take that! Huh? Destroyed? How do you figure that? Mr. Payne's voice can clearly be heard on Miss Leroy's tape. Uh -huh. Considering that he was conducting a private conversation with the chief prosecutor. Oh, there was these two old guys standing right in front of me. They were whispering away to each other the whole darn time. She must have been very close indeed to capture it on tape. You're right, but she's not in the picture. Precisely. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, do you still believe that you have been hounding the right person? Mm. Mr. Lloyd, would you mind answering a few questions? Whoa, you all are fixing to put me under the microscope now. All right, sure, knock yourselves out. I've got nothing to hide. Uh, okay, so it's testimony. It ain't like I was standing still the whole time. No, I was running all over Rogan reporter style. That was a big old crowd. Guess the picture must have been taken while I was in one spot and the tapes from when I was in another. So quite giving me the evil eye ain't nothing but a misunderstanding. Tabby wouldn't lie to us, I know she wouldn't. If she did, that would mean that she's our perk. Well, you're all quite missing, uh, missing with me, as if I could have done a thing like that, little old me. Uh, I might be inclined to give you if your testimony didn't contain a glaring inconsistency. Uh, it does? I thought it was pretty good. Seems I have no choice but to present myself 
with uh, evidence and expose the contradiction. Press O. Why would you be moving on? Your main aim was to record the president's speech. Uh, what now? How do you? Huh? How? how what do you mean? Surely the speech could have been best recorded from a single consistent position. Well, see, that is a, a yeah, ambience. That's the word I was looking for. Let's capture the ambience. Yeah? Can't put that electric atmosphere down in print if I don't have a bunch of it on tape for inspiration. Okay. Now I was running all over from Portal Style and that was good. Yeah, left I think. Maybe they are working together. Hmm.
this picture was have been taken while on one spot tape on uh, How do I do that? Listen, the bang happened. This is all. Confused between choosing up the pictures or the test tape, recording tape. Uh, then I chose the recording tape. It was the right one. Sunday either evidence works. Sunday one is in the room. Home to the special Sunday one. Test tape is in the recording. Take that! Shoot them. That's right, from everything you know, the wonder of what raincoat is. John Doe.
Oh, we, she's wearing a double side jacket. We will see that now. Change color. It's red from inside, you can see it from here. You can see it from here. It's red. From our color. It's red. That's why the back one. Uh, maybe I should, should show you all some other time, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You think I need to use that week and then watch with the red wall? <laughs> I, I, oh. But what are you waiting for? You have anything to take it off and show us. It wasn't me, I swear. I never shot the dang president. Could never. That true, Mr. Lloyd, then you're best of me to cooperate and tell us the truth. Is there a particular reason why you chose to wear parka with a red hood here today? I'm sorry, Rahul, there is something I never told you, something I couldn't. I'll come clean, I promise. Just go easy on me now. You hear? Hold it. Who said that? Hold your horses. It's a little soon for the end game. Okay. That goes for you too, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh, that's a large neck there. You wrote this one to this one the moment you made your opening move. Uh, it's one of the men from Kay's photograph. Guess I will better introduce myself. My name is Bronco Knight. I'm the president's personal bodyguard. He looks like a sabia, not a bodyguard. He's in second command of his security detail. He point that thing some place else, pal. What's the heck wrong with you? Sorry, can't help myself. Just too much fun being this good. You are not a member of law enforcement. How did you get a gun? The old girls on loan from Jinfa temporarily shoot the lost presidential bodyguards. Anyway, never mind that. I got two little bits of news for you. 
You want the good or the bad first? Choice is yours. I'm indifferent, whichever you prefer. Really? You're giving up the first move advantage just like that? Whatever, your loss. Guess I'll push out the first pawn then. So you play a little chess, I take it. Ah, fellow fan, are you? Mr. Red Suit? The name is Edwards, and you could say I dabble. Duly noted, Mr. Edwards. Alright, I'll start with the good news. The president is okay, then suffer so much. I said, Crouch. You didn't? That's a relief. Particularly for the young lady here, that means there is no longer a murder charge on the table. Uh, this is good news, huh? Abby? Yeah, because I had never. Now for the bad news. Only reason he was alive is because we bodyguards did our job. One of us did, anyway. Anyhow, our boss. Himself in the line of fire. You are referring to your colleague, Mr. Rook? Yeah, it's game over for him. No way. Rook is dead. A genuine loss. So you're saying that Tabby. Yeah, your friend here killed my colleague. My brother in arms. Oh, heck no, I didn't do it. Didn't kill anybody, I could never. I would shut my mouth if I were you, murderer. So sure, we did what we had to do. Sacrifice one of our pieces to protect the king. But to, to lose someone like him during a castling, it's a real shame. Castling? What that even mean? That's a link to moving to the chest. Chest turn. Oh yeah. The, the rook and cast a uh, rook and, and the castle protects the king. Like so, some strategy in the chest. Very simplistic speaking. It's a move where a rook. Ah, he says. Move where a rock switches places with the king. Then why didn't he just say so? Mr. Knight, was it? Yeah. What? We'll need to see the victim's body right away. An impossible. I'd like to ask the president a few questions. Sorry. No can do. And why not? That's the third piece of news, and it's the piece you are gonna like the least. But you said there were two, only two. The National Police Force in Jingfa will be handling things from here. What? You better be kidding me, kidding pal. This investigation was assigned to us. We are not about to hand it over. You are the hedge wars, right? <laughs> you are the ah, uh, oh, you are the edge wars. <laughs> I don't know if the hedge wars. The one who solved the Yadagarasu case, the president mentioned you. I'm honored to have warranted his attention. Makes sense that the chief prosecutor would, would assign this one to you. Wait, did the chief assign me to? Appease the president? But that was a mistake. A big one. Should have given the case to somebody with a spine. You're free to take it up version one. If you want to enjoy diplomatic incidents, that is. Oh. You, you are coming with me. We'll continue this on the presidential plane. No, I no no no. 
I, I never did anything. I swear. You can do this the hard way you like, but in Jinka, just is one way or the other. Ruffles, come on, you gotta help me out here, please. It's right. You are the one in the red hood, there's no denying that now. But I can't help feeling we still don't know the whole truth behind this case. I'm innocent, you gotta believe me. Can't really let this happen. See how it ends. The look in her eyes, the crack in her voice as she begs me to help her. This is no act by a criminal. She genuinely scared. If I let them take her, you never know what really happened. Objection. Objection. Okay. What the? Get your fizzy hands off. Off. Oh, okay. Quiet now. Is that really any way to greet me? Your neck has barely begun to heal you. I've already forgotten who I am. I'm disappointed. Well, it's you. Ah, so you do remember. What do you think you are doing, pal? Put the knife down and give it up. You got some nerve pulling a stunt like this in front of a bunch of police officers. Don't even think about it. You don't stand a chance against this guy. Who are you really, Mr. Doe? Let's just say that I'm no simple ice cream seller. <laughs> I know that. I, I, I saw, I know, I remember this guy. He was wearing some suit and umbrella and doing some stuff in the court. That he, now I forgot about it, but the face that stitches in, in the middle of his face, yeah. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> But I thought he went to jail or something. That's weird. Guy's a bro hitman. His name is Shelly the Killer. His name will help you find it, find it later. The Killer. A flashback now. Huh? He's not a legal professional. In the country who doesn't know that name. An assassin capable of taking down any target, any place, any time. This isn't the first time our paths have crossed. Yeah. It's been too long. The edge was equal. So of course, this is the first time we have met face to face. You're the assassin we have been looking for? In a sense, yes. A certain someone did indeed hire me to carry out contract. That contract did indeed specify that I was the assassinated President Wang. I swear I've seen his picture in one of my old files before. But uh, how could I have been so careless? My bandage proved useful for bringing a knife to the park undetected. But I miscalculated in certain other regards. Hmm, he didn't bring a gun. Now, shall we play a little game, Mr. Knight? I know how fond you are of such diversions. Stakes must be high in order for it to be fun, of course. Shall we wager, say, your life? What do you want from me? I would like for you to allow Mr. Edward to remain in charge of the case. He what? What are you up to, the killer? 
help simply like our mutual friend to see things through their conclusion. Huh? But why? Bastion Rock was a man of great skill, one with whom I felt certain connection. It's only right that the truth behind his death be brought to light. With Mr. Rook's departure, the case is now yours to investigate, is it not, Mr. Knight? I'm simply asking you to something that I thought you can still It's not something worth losing your life over, surely. You're just using the investigation as an excuse to get close to the president. Am I really? Suppose it is true that in order for the thing to proceed, we will need to enter the presidential plane. You think I'm gonna let you near him? I'm his chief bodyguard. Are you? And here I thought you were only, only his second in command. Rook's not around. That means I'm number one. Hmm, I wonder if you have what it takes to step into such capable shoes. Yeah, you of course, I do. I'm the leader now. Me. That is indeed the case, then I would ask that you make a choice worthy of a leader. Will you need to throw away your life or will you Allow the investigation continue. Ugh. You have no objections, I trust, Mr. Edgeworth. Come, let us uh, continue the investigation. What do you do, sir? It seems we have little choice but to do as we are told. That said, listen, detective, listen well. I'll, I'll buy us some time as I investigate. Meanwhile, you gather the other officers. Have them surround the plane and make absolutely certain that there is no way he can escape. Yes, sir, you got it. Okay, so we continue it. Wow. Okay, stand up. Uh, table all turned uh, upside down.
Okay, this is enough for me. Here, I have to stop here. Uh, continue for another day. Alright, thanks for watching.